Now we focus on the themes that sit on the right side of disruptive change, where we have the opportunity to be an early mover. In decarbonization and sustainability, it's of course about the energy transition, that's a big part of it, but we're really looking to go beyond the energy transition, beyond renewables, into themes like carbon capture and sequestration, energy efficiency as a service, fleet electrification, and low carbon fuels. In New Living, we're focused on mobility solutions, critical supply chain infrastructure driven by e-commerce, um, and some very interesting emerging social infrastructure asset classes like waste to value or recycling. And then in digitization, we're really focused on building new backbone infrastructure where it needs to be built in the less developed parts of the global network, which actually in some cases happen to exist in otherwise, otherwise very, very well-developed parts of the world. And, and we're doing that across the value chain in fiber, in wireless, and in uh, data centers. Now, these themes are getting strong tailwinds from both public sector push and private sector pull. Take decarbonization, for example, where policymakers are deploying direct investment capital through public-private partnerships. Uh, they're providing economic incentives to the private sector, like the Section 45Q tax credits for CCS. Um, and they're just generally providing, at all levels of government, very supportive uh, legislative and regulatory frameworks, all aimed at getting to net zero carbon in the coming decades. Now, things like COP26 and the U.S. infrastructure bill maybe didn't go as far, far as some people might have wanted or expected but they were big steps in the right direction. And we're to the point now where two thirds of global greenhouse gas emissions are covered by some form of, of policy or law or directive aimed at net zero carbon. That's a big change from just a couple of years ago when it was more like 10%. So we're really at an inflection point here. Um, the capital need is huge, $20 trillion uh, by, by 2030. Uh, Half or more of that, that will go towards themes that go beyond renewables and, and electrification of the transport sector, and 70% of it needs to come uh, from the private sector. So it's a big opportunity for all of us.